Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be testing out the Face Halo. So if you want to see how this product works, then just keep watching. So I'll address the elephant in the room. My background is different. I am trying to switch it up, so I'm in the process of switching up. So right now it's just kind of my stuff behind me. But eventually I'll actually, you know, make it not so bland. <laughs> but I have to change up the room that I'm in, so I had to basically get rid of my old setup. So anyway, so today we're going to test out the Face Halo, which... I did receive this product for free. Um, I know some people get weird about that, so I just wanted to make sure you know. <laughs> they did not ask me to review it, they just asked me to post a picture about it. So, I have been wanting to try this for a while. I pulled up the website so that I can see what it says. It is made of microfiber. It has 200 wash cycles, and all you need to do apparently is use water. So, how much is it? And I don't know if this is Chloe Morella's brand or if she just heavily influences it or promotes it because she's all over. Okay, so it's not her brand. So it looks like she just heavily influences it. Okay, so this is the pack of three and it costs $22. So it's basically a little over $7 per face halo. Let's just actually open this up. Okay, so this is what... Okay, this is what they look like. They're just like a little microfiber cloth, like it says. And see what I'm saying? She heavily influences it. She must be the, what's it called? Brand administrator? At, no, brand ambassador. All right, so it says just add water, remove makeup, and then you can wash and reuse it. Halo works with either cold or warm water. The water loosens your makeup, allowing the halo fiber strands to reach deep into your pores to remove and trap the makeup. So I don't have a lot of makeup on today because it's just kind of what I do on a day-to-day -day when I go to work. So I'm going to add makeup. I'm going to get a liquid lipstick. I'm going to grab some eyeliner, some just things that I know stick, and we'll test those. Okay, so I'm going to put some liquid lipstick on. This is Kat Von D's Berlin. Oh, I'm going to be sloppy, just so you know. <laughs> I forgot how pretty this color was. Alright, so then I'm going to do the Maybelline Lasting Drama Matte Pencil. This is really tough, so I'm actually going to put this... I'm just going to smudge it. This is going to look really weird, but we're just going to smudge it down here. Because I noticed this is always a hard spot for me to get stuff off. We're just, I, we're going to look crazy, okay? Just bear with me. Alright, where's my pencil? And then I'm going to use, I'm going to use Pretty Vulgar's gel eyeliner. And I'm going to put that on the top just a little bit. I feel like I just... We're just going to add random half wings. Alright, good enough. I'm not trying to be precise here. I just want to see if it takes off tough things. So, I'm going to wait for this stuff to dry so that it's really set. And while I do that, I'm going to go wet one of these little puffs and then we'll be right Okay, we are back. Everything is dry. I did go and wet this. Although, it dried pretty fast. So, I guess we'll just go ahead and start wiping. Ooh. Okay, so, so far it's taking my foundation off really nice. I wonder if this needs to be wetter. Ooh. All right. So, it does the foundation really nicely. I did get all the, like, microfiber, the little pieces came off, which I figure is probably just, like, a first time use thing because I've had like microfiber towels that do this at first. Alright, time for the harder parts. Spreading it. Ugh. Ah. Now let's try to get the eyes. I forgot to mention, I have the Bad Gal Bang mascara on, which is always really hard for me to get off. Okay. 
Now, that probably looked like I was rubbing my eyes really hard, but I didn't actually have to. It just probably looked like it because you can't gracefully look like you're pulling your eyes without pulling. Anyways. So now I'm going to take my actual normal wipes, which is the Neutrogena, the blue one. And I'm going to go over my face with this and see if there is anything left. Okay, forehead does have a little. So, as you'll see, it didn't take everything off, but it took a good majority. Like, I mean, there's really not that much on here. Okay, right there there is, but the rest. And as far as the mascara, there's barely any black on here. And like I said, that was a bad gal bang from Benefit, and that one always takes me a long time to get off. So I would say it is really nice. Um, I just think you have to weigh your options. I think it's faster for me to take it off with a wipe than it was to take off with this. But at the same time, I go through wipes so much that it would be nice to, you know, not have to and just wash this. And so that would suck to have to wash this so frequently. But like I said, you just have to weigh your pros and cons, I guess, because this is faster, but in the end, this is cheaper. So. I do think it worked really nicely. It did take pretty much everything off. I bet if I would have gone under the water and washed a little bit off, I probably would have been able to get the last of what was on this. So I do think it's actually really nice. I am glad I have it because I'll definitely use it. Yeah. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one.